So, hello everyone, it's Miss Polina again. In life once more, so I'm gonna tell you one big thing. The performance of PUBG Launcher became playable. And when I mean playable, it is really playable, like very playable, like you can wait to be to T now, really, no, of course, if you like the mobile controls and all that stuff, but really, you can now rate to be to T with pretty decent stability. I tested, I tested it only in single player, but I already can tell it's pretty playable in mini games and stuff. I think, maybe. So I'll show you the what is my phone now. So as you can see, here is my phone. I have my latest set now. So this is my GPU. So. It's that poor job launch. We'll start version 1.12.2 because on other versions right now controls kinda does not work. It's a bug. It's a shame they're not working, but still for testing 1.12.2 is fairly enough. Also, since 1.12.2 is the only classic version left that you can test right now and it still it's still playable everyone uses it and other and all that other stuff so yeah let's play 1.12 and you'll see it's very playable let's open log right away because we of course we need logs logs are needed always so as you can see it loaded in like three seconds so I will enable mouse, as you can see, controls are pretty responsible in my opinion, but they aren't that responsible in the game, so let's start the single player world. It might be less playable because I'm capturing my screen right now. So let's try, let's see. As you can see, we're getting 60, 50, 60 frames on mobile with computer version of the game if I'll take the content equal version of Bedrock Edition and play on this phone the performance will be the same like 60 frames like man it's playable as you can see controls are a little bit stitchy due to the implementation of them but it's playable it's it's playable you can play survival with your friends in Minecraft now also, sound works. So, as you can see, it is working and it is fast. This one was there. Goodbye, everyone.